Hello, welcome back to my channel. Um, we have to, we gotta, no chatting. We gotta get to it. I need to back the Mew, like, wall hanging rug thing. But, but I need to attach a little D-ring because I want it to be a wall hanging, like I just said, a, like a millisecond ago. Um, and also a millisecond ago, I, I said no chatting. So let's just do it. <laughs> Hello, welcome to mm, <laughs> the next week. <laughs> Sean had a day off, so I took a day off. Listen, I don't know how to like schedule myself to give myself time off. I'm not good at scheduling. <laughs> so it's nice whenever he has a day off because then I'm like, oh, I can let myself take a day off as well. Also, I just got out of the shower and that's why my hair looks looks all PC like this, okay? Um, anyway, so what we need to do is a few things. Um, first of all, oh, hold on. First, first of all, one second. Prepare your balls. Look at her in all of her chapel, stunning, pink, tassely, sparkly glory. Oh my God, look at the like, are you kidding? <laughs> Let me just demonstrate. Holding it up with, with one hand just at the top, you'll see that the corners, like this edge, and then this one, more importantly, um, is just out. It's just, it's not curling in. It's not like flopping about. So the netting stuff that I got actually worked. And I can still, like, it's still a a rug do you know what I mean like it's still rollable so I can ship it but then whoever whoever unrolls it and has it it will just hang up nicely so yeah the chap the chapel rug is done look at this dangle dangle it's incredible everything that we did to it worked out in the end which I'm shocked by I do still need to put the hanging wire on but yeah the the hooks are in and they're fine and they're staying there forever and perfect and it's done and it's perfect and and i love it so uh i moved on to last stream i moved on to carving the little meal rug look how cute it is it is adorable it's so cute um i basically carved like one side and then we just need to do the other eye and then the whiskers and it's basically done which is the main thing that I need to achieve today is finish carving this which will be the last carve of of this session of rugs and then I can put this table away kind of temporarily until I need to wrap roll these rugs up to ship them out but there will probably be a little bit of time in between that because I still need to photograph them and like make the listings and list them and then somebody has to buy them and stuff. So there's a little bit of time between then and well now and then so I can uh, put this table away temporarily because I'm either thinking on tomorrow <laughs> on well as you're watching this it will have been yesterday because I think I'm going to upload this on Thursday. We will 
have new fabric up on the frame and I'm going to trace my new designs. And you're going to want to be there. Oh man, I'm going to have to like post because this is, this is, this is going up too late. Um, but hopefully you were there because I'm pretty excited about the designs. Actually, since this is going up later, I can just show you. Um, over my weekend, I drew up some designs that I'm so excited about. There's one that I have to finish that I was kind of hoping it, hoping, hoping to finish today at some point. But here are, here are the main events <laughs> for, um, this coming up. Actually, I don't know why I try to show you with my, here it is. So, so, you know, on stream, blah, blah, lady, love you, um, suggested doing a frog with a witch hat. And I was like, yeah, <laughs> yup, yeah. um, great idea, right? Look how cute. And then I did some like stars and little boots all around. It is quite the, it is quite, it is quite the, 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 the rug design. Um, and also the... <laughs> I'm so excited. Um, the like little, I guess like wart areas like are going to be tufted with my 3D, my 3D, my long pile machine so that they are kind of 3D. I'm going to like carve them down so they're not like super long, but I do want them to be higher than the rest of the rug. And I'm so excited. I think it's going to be so cool. Sinister little witch frog. We love, we love. Um, I'm obsessed with this design so much. It's so good. Yeah, what else do we got? Oh, okay. So here's what I'm working on and what I want to finish today. I want to do like a big fully open bat and I kind of want him to be slightly detailed. So I'm working on it. I got caught up on drawing a bat face. Very difficult. They've got a lot going on, you know what I mean? Um, and so it's difficult. So I'm working on it, but the wings came out beautiful. We also have, uh, this one, which is gummy worm. I haven't decided, I was going to ask stream, but I haven't decided if I should straighten out the bottom. Cause you know how a gummy worm is like flat on the bottom and then it has like its ridges over the top. The way I drew this was like, sort of looking down at a gummy worm where both sides would be. And then for keyboard rugs, I have this one. Cause I was like, yeah, I love my bat design. I want to make a keyboard rug for the bat. Look how wonderful. Close your eyes. Oh my God, nobody can look at this. It's so good, it's so cute. And then the sparkles and then obviously the big, the big moon behind him. I love, and then I was gonna do like obviously a classic jack-o'-lantern keyboard rug we love. I don't know if I'm going to keep the eyes like this, but I do love because he's quite like silly. You know what I mean? And then I think I'm going to do a couple of keyboard rugs that are like slime. So I'm going to do some slimy keyboard rugs and I think that's going to be really cool. What if I don't make it a rectangle? Like I was thinking slime and then fill it in with a different color to make it like a nice rectangle. But what if I make it like slime? Just the slime, that could be cool. That could be so cool, oops. But anyway, I was thinking of doing some slime keyboard rugs um, to use up some of the, you know, smaller skeins of yarn that I have, Pro probably as many as I can fit on the frame, honestly. <laughs> and like different colored ones, I have some like neon pink, the, the neon green, we've got some blue. Um, but yeah, I need to come up with some designs sort of like that, that I can use these like smaller skeins of yarn because here's, here's a problem with tufting like larger rugs is that I need like a ton of the same color. And so I get a ton. And then, um, when I'm done with the, with making it, there's like, you know, s smaller rolls left over since like lot numbers are a thing. And like, I need to get all of the yarn all at the same time because of lot numbers. And if I get, if you don't remember the pink that, which didn't even have a lot number, it was so weird. But anyway, it was like a different shade of pink. And if I try to like mesh them together, sometimes they won't be the exact same color. So I have to get 
enough yarn to finish a project, which most times means that I have a lot of leftover yarn. And even if I come up with a design that includes this color, if I, I need to go get more. So I, it's not a guarantee that the yarn that I have and the yarn that I go get now will be the same exact shade. And if they're not, it looks weird. Um, so anyway, I need to come up with some designs like the slime design, which I could just continue. I could just like make slime keyboard rugs. Anyway, thanks for coming on the tour of uh, all the rugs that I came up with over the weekend. I'm very excited about the frog. I'm so excited to finish the bat. I'm, I'm pretty nervous to like come up with the face because there are like the bats that look like they have fox faces and they're adorable. All bats, wonderful. But um, I want to go for the, you know, the snarly ones with the, and the, you know what, you know, wish me luck for that. But anyway, blabbing is done. I did 16 minutes of blabbing. We need to, you're looking at nothing. We need to finish, finish carving the meal. Is twitching oh my god look how good it came out hold on you're in a bad spot look how good this came out it's so cute her little nose and her little whiskers it's adorable i want to hang it up in here but i don't know where look at her little ears <laughs> that's so cute okay so next thing is i want to <gasps> don't look at that i need to put this table away Ignore that. Oh my god. Wow. Nice. I just need to clean it up a little bit. It just needs a little bit of a vacuum. We'll probably throw on some new pack. okay um i did get a little sidetracked because i want i was i wanted to glue okay back up i discovered that i didn't like finish finish gluing the edges of like everything so i was doing that and then i wanted to listen i know that that i was supposed to do certain things <laughs> oh, I was supposed to finish that drawing. It's okay. Um, what I wanted to do and what I ended up doing was putting the hanging wire on the back of the chapel rug. And now look at it. It's hanging on the wall. This is one of the coolest things. I know I say that about everything. But this is legitimately one of the coolest pieces I've ever made. I'm obsessed with it. The, the freaking tassels are so good. Look at it. It's so pretty. The colors are still like impossible for me to like film. Taking pictures of it isn't as difficult as as trying to take videos of it. I'm gonna try to insert some some clips with my phone that I'll film with my phone and see if that's any better. And look how it isn't curling on the edges. It's just nice and flat. And this edge is coming off of the wall like a bit. Just with how like big it is and how it hangs, I wanted it to hang with this slope, um, which makes this corner just kind of like stick out a bit off the wall. And if I hadn't done that like netting in the backing, I think that definitely would not look like that. It's so perfect. Oh my God, it's so pretty. I legitimately don't know if I'm gonna be able to let it go. I am, honestly, I am going to try to reach out and see, see if I can contact like a manager or somebody and uh, see if I can 
possibly get it to her if she wants it, but if she, she doesn't want it or like whatever, that's fine. Like that's totally okay because I might just like keep it. How can I do that on a frame where like well, there was Mew and I'm definitely keeping the Mew one. I can't keep both of them. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But anyway, you can't really tell. But there's a lot of like glue bits and little things that need to be back and off the floor. And I'm going to see you in just a second because we do still need to put new fabric on the frame. Good morning. Um, so I'm supposed to be drawing, but as you can see, um, iPad isn't even on. I'm supposed to be drawing. I know this, you know this. What am I doing? I'm not drawing because I was like, oh, it's my first stream of September. I should find my witch hat. And um, it took me forever to find. I found it. Here she is. I literally love this little witch hat. Anyway, I was like, oh, Wow, great, I found it. And then I, for some reason, I was like, oh, what if I decorate it with some of the crocheted things that I've made and done nothing with? What if I attach them to the hat? So here I am, sewing needle and all, and I'm just gonna like try to attach these this one's really long. I don't know if this is going to be a mistake. I'm going to try to attach them to the hat so that they look how... No. Shut up. That is so cute. See, this is worth... This is worth screwing with the plan. I don't know what's wrong with me lately. I literally just... I know the plan and then I don't do the plan. I don't do it. That's what I'm doing right now. Mm limb. All right. There's two strings. So I think I'm just going to take one of them. Okay. I'm going to just pull it through and then we'll pull through the other string. I'm just going to tie it on the other side. We'll pull through the other string. And I'm just going to tie it. Wow. Cute. I think I'm going to take like another piece of, uh, like yarn or something and stitch it to the front here so that it it wraps around because I feel like if I just leave it it's gonna fall and just dangle which is fine but this one's really long and I, I love this like wrap around and then we can just tie it on the other side I cut way too long of a piece oh it's so adorable oh, stop that is really something. <laughs> Wait, do I stop there or do I keep going? Let's, I want to look at it. Stop, that's so cute. And then I do have these purpley ones I could attach. Maybe like this little short one here-ish. Stop, that's so cute. Right? Or is that ridiculous? Um, here it is. The finished witchy swamp witch hat. It's, it's, um, so cute. I love this and the little flowers. Like I just had these made 
Um, they were originally for making more of those uh, crochet, like, flower string lights, which I just... I don't have time for that. Um, so I don't know why I thought I would... I, thought I would be doing that but anyway now they have a purpose and it's it's so cute yeah so um I don't know maybe maybe this is the cutest thing ever I'm probably gonna be wearing this like every stream all of October all of September and October my cat's yodeling out in the kitchen there's construction in front of my apartment every day. It's fine. I'm not complaining. I think it's funny. Anyways, I'm just gonna, my eyelid just keeps twitching. So I'm just gonna hold it and do my outro. Thank y'all very much for watching this video. Oh wait, you can kind of see a little bit of the progress that we made during stream. Actually, you didn't see the frame at all, did you? I have a feeling that there's a lot in this video and it's gonna be a bit to edit. So I'll show you the frame next time and the next time there will probably be um, more progress for you to see on the witch frog. Thank y'all very much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. You can follow me in all these places. It is usually at Artsy Mad Women besides Twitch and Tumblr, which is the Artsy Mad Women. I stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Chat would argue the Monday one, but I do. That is my schedule <laughs> sometimes. She was just in here. I was just petting her. She was just in here. She wanted to leave. And so I let her out. And now she's just yodeling out there. Oh, also, I still have a stack of embroidered beanies that I'm going to put. They're on sale currently. I'm going to put them more on sale because I want them to go um, so that I can do some more designs, like a different design. I haven't done any new embroidered stuff because... I have such a fat stack of beanies left over. So if you would like a beanie, the link to my website is down in the description. What else is on there? Stickers. I still have um, some stickers if you're interested. Oh, and I also have the Illy Tad t-shirts if you're interested in that as well. That's on a different website. That's my fourth wall website. All the links are down in the description. And I appreciate you if you click on them and check things out and maybe even get something. I don't know. Anyway, I love y'all to absolute death and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. <laughs>